reason that um, the Aspire book is so powerful in affecting people's lives is because words truly do have powers. And when you understand what it really means and what you're really saying by making this commitment, uh, it makes a difference. And it helps you focus on truth. Most books teach you, tell you, show you. You can feel emotion. But in this one, as you're reading his stories, you'll actually be going into your life and examining the things that are happening inside your own soul. It's a magical thing when a book can actually do this. Was I passionate about um, becoming a best-selling author? I was because I was willing to suffer. And most of it was suffering. It used to bother my dad when people would come up and hand him a book and say, will you have your son make this a bestseller too? And he would say, you have no idea what he went through. You have no idea how much he suffered. And there was a lot of suffering. And it was very difficult. It was a very difficult path. The reason why the book Aspire uh, is so different from, from other books is because it's not a one-time read. You can't just read the book one time uh, and, and put it down. You find something new in chapter one when you go back. Because after you read chapter seven or chapter eight, you have to go back to chapter one because you've learned some new stuff throughout the chapters that open up new chapters when you reread chapter one. Aspire is not a book just to read, it's a book to be acted upon. And I think that Kevin Hall wants every reader to really um, feel how these words can affect their lives and to make commitments to, to make changes in their life, to improve their life. This book is just not a book to feel good about or feel good reading. It's a book that can change lives. It will be a book that will change lives for generations. This is the power of words from a very humble teacher, very humble teacher, who just wants nothing more than to move people.